So the first leg of the per attempts hurdle qualify then over three miles and the top one of this is Kersil for John Morgan, Dicky Dares, C. Beckwith, Full Court Press for Joshua Sutherland, Cole Martell, Lily, David Robertson, Mizarro, Tears for Hems, Flaky Dovecott for Graham Clutterbuck, Bailey Plume for James Shea, Mr Frosty for Darren Thompson, Ring of Esteem for T. Rogers, Inspector Bergerac, Paul Rhodes, Gallagher Origin, Martin Leadham, Elena Treat, Alex Cherry, Goodbye Millie and Haddad, both for Vinnie Gerrard. So 14 then, final at Cheltenham. Later in the season, and away they go. Not sure whether you have to finish in the first three or the first four to qualify, but they take the first of the 14 flights, and then all safely to the other side with Bailey Plume, just the leader. And down to the second, then they sort themselves out into some sort of racing order now. And it looks like Kersil and Bailey Plume are going to dispute the lead with Mr. Frosty and Full Court Press behind them. Then Goodbye Millie in the green, white on the track in the white jacket. Inspector Bergerac on the case. And sit down towards the third, then. And over that one they go with Bailey Plume having won the battle to lead. Kersil settled down in second, wide on the track, Inspector Bergerac is third, then goodbye Millie and Alina Treat with Mr Frosty and Full Court Press. Dickie Dares after that one's also fairly wide, then Flaky Duffcott after that one. And the Clutterbuck Colours, then Gallagher Origin in the purple, Ring of Esteem is next, and then Haddage and Cal Martell Lily, and finally Mizarro Tears. And Bailey Plume is in front. By about three or four lengths. With Kersel in second. Alina Treat third in the orange cap. They're nicely grouped, with the exception of the leader, who's clear by about four. Come down towards the fourth flight. And the 14 they're going to take in all. And they're all over that one, safety Gallagher Origin. A little bit slow at the back, and a new feature this week that we've seen as we take the fifth flight was on the on Tom. We can now look up the winners of the previous four or five seasons. If you look at oh, this race, I'm going to blow me on trumpet. I actually won this race the last two years on the trot. Oh, I've got Gallagher Origin in this. This, yeah, I don't think I'm going to win it three years on the trot. Now he's started the season. Looks like he might be better over the bigger obstacles. But anyway, it's Bailey Plume in the lead. I say come up past the winning post with a circuit to go. Bailey Plume is the leader. Right, about four or five lengths to Alina Treat in second. Mr. Frosty third. Kersil's got the rail in fourth. Inspector Bergerac Wallace on the track is fifth. And comes goodbye Millie. A the gap then to Full Court Press and Haddad as they take number seven. Better jump that time by Gallagher Origin wide on the track now the one that's dropped to the back now is Dickie Dares as they come to the eighth and over that one they go and they're all hurdling reasonably well Bailey Plume continues to lead by about two or three the Inspector Bergerac is moving into second Mr Frosty is third inside of that one is Alina Treat and goodbye Millie getting closer Kersil just lost its place a little bit but still got the inside berth full court press getting a little bit closer as well and then Mizarro Tiz with Haddad ring of esteem after that one, then Gallagher Origin, Flaky Duffcott, and Cole Martell, Lillian, Dickie Dares bringing up the rear. As they make their way towards the final mile and a quarter. And Bailey Plume, not really been headed yet. Kersil flirty with the lead early on, but Bailey Plume's had it pretty much his own way so far. And Jockey having a little look round, see where they are. As they go up this hill, steady climb. The Lena Treat back in second and Mr. Frosty third. Inspector Bergerac four and full court press five. Kersel is six and Goodbye Millie is seven and Ring of Steel is eight. Then Haddage and Flaky Duffcock, Cole Martell, Lily, Dickie Dares, Gallagher Origin and Misero Tears who's just dropping back a little bit on the remainder as they take the ninth. They're all over that one including Misero Tears at the back. But it's Bailey Plume almost joined now. By oh, full court press and Mr. Frosty, a full court press was down on his nose, and also a mistake at the back there by Cole Martell Lily. But Bailey Plume continues to lead Mr. Frosty, full court press and Kersel. They all look like they're ready for a turn at the front, though, as they make their way down towards the next. This is the fourth last. Over that one they go. 
all over it safely. Can't wait for Mizarro Tears, I'm afraid. He's getting a little bit too far behind now. And Bailey Plume's in front. Full Court Press is second. Mr. Frost is third. Kersil's fourth. What well, looks to be going really well is Ring of Esteem. It's good by Millie moves up round the outside as well. Alina Treat is there. Mizarro Tears has been pulled up at the back. And Bailey Plume is still in front by about a length. But Full Court Press is in second. Mr. Frosty is third. Kersil hits a flat spot. Alina Treat's now got the inside. Ring of Esteem still appears to be going well. Inspector Birdrax lost its place. Haddad is trying to get into it. So is Flaky Duffcut. Then Carl Martel, Lily, and Gallagher Origin. Dickie Dares is the one who's dropped off the back now. But it's Bailey Plume in the lead with three to take and three furlongs to race. Bailey Plume is three clear and is still going well in front full court press is second then comes Alina Treat Mr Frosty ring of esteem still making ground over the third last they go the leader got away from it well and he's a good three lengths clear full court press is trying to close though then comes Alina Treat Mr Frosty over the second last another good jump by Bailey Plume they're going to have to get going to catch him now it's Bailey Plume still in the lead with one more fly to take full court press in hot pursuit nothing else can win as Doug would say it's Bailey Plume in the lead full court press over the final flight they go Bailey Plume in the lead full court press throws down a big chance. Ring of Esteem is running on, but it looks like it could be too late. Full Court Press beginning to get up on the outside. Full Court Press is going to get up and win it. And Bailey Plume is only going to be second. Full Court Press wins it. Bailey Plume is second. Ring of Esteem is third. Then Kirsten, Alina Treat, and Adage. And Inspector Bergerac might have dropped out to be last in the end. So no solving of the crime for Inspector Bergerac today. And if that's Hems again being done on the run, and he'll be tearing his hair out, whatever he is. It might be James Shea, of course, but we'll wait and see. And full court press has taken it for Joshua Sutherland, and it's James Shea, so Hems will probably be quite pleased it's not him second, as he's been touched off in the first two races. So full court press for Joshua Sutherland, the winner, Bailey Plume for James Shea second, Ring of Esteem for T. Rogers, who's having a great start to his S07 career in third, Kersil for John Morgan fourth, and fifth was Mr. Frosty for Darren Thompson.